ba 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 da ba ba scooby doo ba doo boo boo ba doo ba doo dee scooby doo wah ba boo doo doo ba ba doo wah hey there i'm ken heron and i'm going to tell you the top five rookie mistakes drone pilots make let's start with five and head on up to the number one rookie mistake drone pilots make number five is flying way too high what are you doing up there why did you go so high? Everything starts looking the same after you get past 300 feet anyway. Come on! Now I know when you first get your drone, you want to test the limits of everything. And I did the same thing. But I did my experimentation back when you could do it. Just to understand that I'm showing this to you as a demonstration of what not to do. So here I am going way too high. Fortunately, I'm not near any airports here. I'm out in cow country so I wasn't bothering anybody. But you can see, once you get up to a certain height, everything starts looking like Google Earth. There's no point to it. There's no definition of buildings or trees. I mean, sure, the shadows of the clouds look cool on the ground, and it's neat that you went up that high. Okay, now you can say you did it and you never have to do it again, and I didn't. So learn from my mistake. Don't go this high. If you ever feel the need, just go back to this video and watch it again and come back down to earth. That's entirely too high for a drone. Gee whiz. Rookie drone move number four. Herky jerky movements with the camera. What's that? Over there, look at that. I'm here as what you can see is a private lake, but I've been given special permission by the owners because this is where I filmed a wedding once. Yeah, it was a great wedding. This is a great property. And the bushes are very nice people. All right, so you found a beautiful setting and you want to fly it. It's a beautiful little pond and you're flying along, getting all the great stuff. Oh wait, what's that over there? Oh yeah, oh wait, over there. Wait, is there something down there? Try to make your camera movements more intentional and fluid, very much like movies and television shows that you've seen. Try to make very small stick movements. Your height, your left, your right, your yaw. And y'all come back now, you hear? Oh yeah, that was a good one. Rookie drone move number three, subject matter. You've gotta pick something that's interesting to not only you, but your audience. For instance, this. This is my pond, my house, my 20 acres of land. And I see it just about every day. So it would be neat to see it from the air. Look at that, look how pretty it is. You've got to remember that your house is going to be more interesting to you. So sure, film it with the drone, but keep the shots short. And try to pick subject matter that will be interesting to a wide audience and not just you and your friends and your family. Just make it real interesting. <laughs> Oh, where'd those crickets come from? And the next rookie drone move is not knowing your spatial awareness. And that goes especially for you, newbies. <laughs> I've returned to one of my favorite bridges to demonstrate how to get the proper perspective when going under or through things. Okay, so you're flying along, you see a beautiful bridge. You think, I want to go under that bridge. I see a lot of people hesitating. And if you want to get a fluid shot, there's a real easy way of figuring out whether you're going to clear something, especially bridges. Before you go under it, you want to go up to it, kind of check it out, and then make sure your camera is level by pushing it down all the way and then back up. And then adjust the height of your drone 
until you see the other side of the underside of the bridge. See, I was level with the bridge before. Now I can see a little bit of the underside of the other side. Then you know you're going to clear it. And you can do this on the fly while you're trucking around. Oh, a bridge. It's beautiful. Will I fit? Yes. A lot of times with bridges, you want to make sure that there's nothing hanging down underneath. People tend to fish off of bridges. And sometimes they leave fishing line dangling and that can snag your propellers and give you a really bad day. Especially bridges that have pedestrian crossings on top of it, like this one. And you'll never be able to see fishing line with goggles or a tablet. Now I can go over this bridge because it's a pedestrian bridge and it's covered. Covered by a railroad track. But for other bridges with cars, I just wouldn't take a chance. Just don't take a chance and go over a bridge. You're not supposed to fly over moving vehicles anyway. Now going through stuff, it's the same. Check it out first. And then, once you get your perspective right, you can head on through. No worries. And you get those nice, beautiful fluid shots. Lovely. Same goes for clearing stuff as you go over it. I'll show you on this sculpture thingamawatsits. If you get level with it, and then if you can see the other side right there, then you know you're gonna clear it. That was pretty close, but still, you'll clear it. And the number one rookie drone move is the way you hold the controller. Oh my, right Nick? That's right. Nick has a dip in, it's gross. Right Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Most rookies will just pick up the controller and thumb it like this, and that's wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. What is it Nick? Wrong, 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 wrong. That's right. The proper way to hold it is like this, the pinch method. Ladies. That's my line. If you use your thumbs, you're eventually gonna crash. If you use the pinch method, you get precision flying because you have more muscle control doing it this way than this way. As Nick will now demonstrate. I've got a piece of paper here and I've got a pen. Give me your thumb, Nick. All right. Nick, do you think you could write your name with just your thumb? I can give it a try. Signing his name with just his thumb. <laughs> it's looking very toddlerish. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Not so great, Nick. <laughs> that was horrible because you don't have a lot of control with just your thumbs. Now Nick will write his name using his thumb and forefinger Oh, much better. Like an adult, you're all grown up. So once again, improper control, proper control. Wrong, right, right? Right. 
Oh, there you go. There are the top five rookie moves drone pilots make. There are so many things that you will learn along the way. If your heart is in it, you will learn and you will get better. Because after all, life is a learning process. You continually learn as you go. So get out there and learn, try new things and practice, practice, practice. And before you know it, your videos will be looking as good as mine. What? Hang on a second. What's going on? Mind focus? Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Buh and bye. Well, that's it. I just want to say thanks for watching. Thank you.